this is Drake here. Uh, today's video will be about education and the effects of a wasp sting. Right in front of me here, I have uh, three guinea wasps, and uh, I'm gonna let two of them. I'm gonna let all three of them sting me, and uh, I'll rate the pain. I'll tell how long it is, and uh, all that stuff. Let's get started. Now I'm going to start out with this wasp. This is a regular guinea wasp and it's a male. Here we go. Oh, these are these are dead, but they can still sting me. This one's still alive actually. Now you notice no effect cuz males are reproductive. So they're only there for one job. And that's that's uh, reproducing. And if you look on their abdomen, getting close to the camera. If you look on the abdomen, they ain't got a stinger. But rather rather they just got they just got their reproductive organs instead of a stinger. So uh males cannot sting you. And this is what the male looks like. The male guinea wasp has a bright yellow face, yellow underbelly, yellow straps under the tail. It looks a lot like a female, except they're sometimes sometimes they're a lot smaller. Now this is a female. This is the ones that can sting you. I'm gonna let her, I'm gonna let her sting me. See what see how it feels. It hurts. I know. Three, two, one. Don't hurt too much. Ah! Mm. Ooh, that hurts, that hurts. Ah! Ugh! Ugh! Mm. Oh, man, she got me good. See it getting red? Ooh. Now, yes, that did hurt, but to me, guinea wasps hurt the least of other wasps. Red wasps hurt a lot worse. Yeah, that hurts. Crap, that hurts. It's already getting tender. But yeah, the females, uh, they're the ones that can sting you, as you can see. Got her stinger coming out. Ah, oh, man, that hurts. Right now, it's just getting a little red, that little red dot right there. It hurts. But, uh, again, I'm not allergic to the wasps. Uh, I just did this willingly to show education. And, uh, it does hurt, but not not a scale, not to 10, about 5 minimum. Not a scale of 1 to 10, about mi minimal. Now, this will start swelling and form like a wart looking thing. Just gonna wait till it does that. And I got another female wasp about to sting me, so I gotta get ready for that. Now again, I know it didn't show too well on the camera, but there it is on my finger. The male is trying to sting me, but he can't. Actually, I'm starting to catch wasps now. I find a male and catch him. He won't, he won't be able to sting me, and I can play with him all I want. So you can see it's starting to well. Yeah, I got another female waiting to sting me. I think I'm gonna put her in my I'm gonna put her on my hand maybe. Yeah, that hurts. Now I don't recommend trying this at home unless you're very trained and you've basically been stung all your life because just about every time I kill every time I like go out and get get a wasp nest here's what happens most of the time there'll be a dead wasp nest and I'll go to knock it down there'll be like a live one behind it and I end up getting stung lots of times I run into nests not knowing it and I end up getting stung as you can see it is welting that's proof I did get stung and it hurts too a little stings all you'll get but I had a baby cousin uh he got attacked by three of them, and he cried to death. Now, if you do get stung, there's this thing that looks like a suction cup 
looks like a syringe and a suction cup. You can put the suction cup on your sting and pull pull down, and it squeezes it up to where it'll kind of squeeze the venom out. Man, that hurts. And you can tell it's uh, getting tender. It hurts, man. Now for the second female. I think I'm going to put her on my hand. Ooh, man. Three, two, one. I ain't got much of them in her. Ah! Ooh, that rip. She got me. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm not saying it hurts. It stings. But... I did it on my hand. And you can already see the red dot. This one's starting to swell. Now, I'm not trying to imitate Cody Peterson here. He just, uh, he does a lot of the dangerous wasps. I'm doing social wasps, the wasps you see every day. The, these are the guinea wasps. Next, they got we got red wasps, mahogany wasps. For those of you who don't know, the mahogany wasp is the bright orange red ones. I call them mahogany wasps because they're more kind of a mahogany orange than a red. Red wasps are kind of red and black. <laughs> Now, it don't hurt. It don't hurt as bad my hand than it does my arm. My least painless spot I get stung is my kneecap. When they sting me on the kneecap, I can't really feel it that much. Again, I don't recommend trying this at home. There's the that sting and this sting. This sting ain't really getting very big. That second loss of that stung me didn't have very much venom. Yeah, man, it hurts. But, yeah. <clears throat> that's what the wasps, that's what the sting will do to you. And it don't get much worse than that, just itching for a couple of days, and that's it. Eventually, it'll heal up. And I do have some ointment I put on. It's uh, some kind of stingies. It, uh, it helps the uh, sting go away really fast. So I hope you enjoyed the video, like, share, and subscribe.